So what I want to do today is talk to you about some different Claude prompts that I created. And specifically, these were created when uh, I was thinking about a way to help a friend create scripts that could be used in a teleprompter. Now, I don't use a teleprompter, but this person wanted to use a teleprompter. And the hard thing about using a teleprompter in a video is you have to make what you're reading sound conversational and sound like you. So if you start suddenly using a teleprompter on your YouTube channel and you've never used one before, how do you make the scripts sound like they were actually coming from you just talking to the camera naturally? As an extension of this, you can apply these prompts to other things too. You could apply them to blog post content. You could apply these to social media content as well. So the very first thing that you have to do is you have to get some samples that you can feed Claude so it understands how you talk and how you communicate. The easiest way to do that is to take a tool. I happen to use Cast Magic, and I can take an MP3 file where I've talked about a specific topic, and then Cast Magic will create a transcript for me. So the one thing that I learned when I was doing this, Claude.ai can do a much better job making text sound like you're the one who created it if you use more samples. What I had to do is I took these transcription samples from four separate videos. I picked videos that were very conversational and they are slightly edited to remove like the ums and the ahs that I occasionally put in when I'm talking. These transcripts are just straight from the video with no editing whatsoever. And so if you'll notice here in this Google Doc, it's pretty long. It's about 12 pages of transcripts. So this is four separate videos. The videos were about 20 minutes long. I like to edit my videos in Camtasia and in Audiate. So after I had created these videos, I simply just exported these as MP3s. And then I took them into Cast Magic. I had Cast Magic create the transcripts. I copied the transcripts put them in this transcript sample page, and that's what I needed to feed Claude. Now, if you don't have any MP3 files, so for example, I haven't found any free transcription services. I think there's a tool called riverside.fm that claims to have a free transcription service. I haven't tried it. So I will say that Cast Magic is a tool that I paid for to do these transcripts. You know, there's other tools out there like Descript that will do it. Exemplary.ai is another tool that will do transcripts. You can go through, you can just record yourself talking about specific topics. You can create these samples, or you could take samples of your written text. So if you have enough written text samples that you haven't done a lot of heavy editing on and they sound very conversational, they might work as well. I just found that audio files converted into a transcript work the best. So let's go ahead and get started and use Claude to write content that sounds like us. We've got writing samples now. We're going to go into Claude and we're going to ask it to begin to look at this data and then create content based on these transcribed audio files. Here's the very first prompt. You need to set up Claude.ai personalization. And so this is the actual prompt. I'm going to share some samples of my writing. Please analyze the tone style and key characteristics of these samples. So we're gonna copy that and we're gonna go back over to Claude. We're going to drop it in. And of course, this is the free version of Claude, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I don't have the paid or pro version. So once you've put that in, you need to actually take the transcribed data, which I have here, copy it and drop it into Claude with this prompt. So here we go, go back to Claude, drop it in. You'll see it's pasted right here. It's 116 lines of text. 
So let's run it. So Claude's gone through, it analyzes the transcribed text that you gave it, tells you about the tone. This is what I expected, conversational and inform informed. The writing has a casual friendly tone, personal and, and authentic, on honest and transparent, narrative style, explanatory, anecdotal, shows you the key characteristics. So it's gone through, it's looked at that writing. This is the analysis that it came up with. Now, based on this analysis, let's write some content. So if you wanted to do a YouTube script, this prompt is specifically for a YouTube script. And, it, and I just say, based on this analysis, please generate a YouTube script in a similar style. The topic for this new script is, is YouTube right for you? Now, a five minute script that you'd run on a teleprompter is typically about 750 to 1000 words. So I just said, write a script that's 750 to 1,000 words and discuss the pros and cons of starting a YouTube channel. So we'll prompt Claude with that and then see what kind of results we get. Up it in, run it. So the script is completed. The cool thing about this is you could put it right in your teleprompter app and start creating your video. So does it sound conversational? Does it sound like me? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into a question I get asked all the time. Is YouTube right for me? Now I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, starting a YouTube channel isn't for everyone, but it can be an incredibly rewarding experience if you're up for the challenge. So let's break down the pros and cons and help you decide if YouTube is right for you. Now I'm not gonna read the whole script, but it sounds very conversational. Sounds a lot like me when I'm just talking and describing things on my channel, either if it's a, if it's a tutorial, if it's, just explaining some particular new feature and a product, et cetera. So I really like this. I could use this for YouTube scripts very easily. So the next thing that I have in this Claude prompt is let's do a blog post introduction. I wanted to take this beyond a YouTube script because I know a lot of people write blog posts. So how could you take that analysis of your tone, your conversation and the transcripts and use it for blog posts? So let's have it do this. Based on this analysis, please generate a blog post introduction in a similar style. The topic for the blog post is, is YouTube right for you? The introduction should be two paragraphs, followed by five key takeaway bullet points. The introduction and key takeaways should discuss the pros and cons of starting a YouTube channel. So we'll go ahead, copy that, go back over, drop it in and start it. The reason I think this is useful is because we talk about humanizing text and blog posts. And for text to sound humanized, it needs to sound somewhat conversational. And so here we go. This would be the introduction and the key takeaways. Hey there, if you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you're not alone. It's a question I get all the time. YouTube can be an incredible platform for sharing your passion, building a community, and even making some money on the side, but it's a big commitment. In this post, we're gonna dive into the pros and cons of starting a YouTube channel, and then the key takeaways, massive audience potential, chance to establish yourself as an expert in the field, et cetera, et cetera. It does a really nice job of writing something that sounds very human, very conversational, based on my own speaking style from the transcripts that I loaded into Claude. So let's go ahead, take a look at the next one that I did. And this was for a section of a blog post. So the first thing we did was the introduction. What if you wanted to go through and section by section, create a blog post using this particular prompt? So based on this analysis, generate a blog post section in a similar style. The topic for this is dealing with negative YouTube comments. The section should be one to two paragraphs. It should discuss ways to effectively address negative YouTube comments. We'll grab it, go over to Claude, drop it in, run it. So we get these two paragraphs, probably could be split up into three, but it starts off very conversationally, just like I typically talk. All right, let's talk about something that every YouTuber deals with at some point. Negative comments, trust me, I've been there, it can be tough. When I first started my channel, every negative comment felt like a personal attack, but over time I've learned that dealing with these comments is just part of the game. So again, very human-like, very conversational, and that's all because I fed Claude 12 pages of audio transcripts that I had put together so Claude really could understand how I speak and my tone of voice. So the last prompt that could be very useful for you because 
If you're running a blog, if you're running a YouTube channel, you probably do some social media. You probably have some social media accounts to support it. So in this example, let's go ahead and look at this prompt for creating some tweets. So based on this analysis, please generate 10 tweets in a similar style. The topic of these new tweets is, is YouTube right for you? Create 10 unique tweets about the pros and cons of starting a YouTube channel. Go ahead, run it. And the very cool thing about this is Claude was smart enough to know that since these are tweets, we need hashtags as well. Now, you may have to add some additional hashtags, but let's just go ahead and look at some of these tweets. So pros of being a YouTuber, connecting with an awesome community, con, dealing with not so awesome comments, thick skin required, hashtag YouTuber problems. YouTube can be a great way to establish yourself as an expert. Just remember, it takes time and consistency. No overnight success here. Hashtag content creation. So all of these tweets are great. In fact, some of them even have some emojis added with them, which just spices up the tweet a little bit. Very usable. I might not use all 10, but I would definitely find some in here that were quite usable and I'd be able to tweet these out. Maybe I put a link to the blog post or maybe a link to the YouTube video. But this is how you can use Claude to sort of personalize content based on your tone of voice. You can use this content for YouTube videos. If you have a teleprompter, it would be great for writing scripts for your teleprompter applications. You could use it for blog post sections and blog post introductions and conclusions. And obviously, you could use it for tweets. You could use it for uh, Instagram and other social media accounts as well. So I hope this has been helpful. What I'll do is I'm going to take this information right here. I'm going to put it on my website, mikeshuey.com. There will be a link in the description. So you can go, you can go look at these prompts. I'll have some links to some tools where you can actually go and create transcriptions from audio files if you want to do that. Again, thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Until next time, take care.